I chose Mordekaiser initially because he was my favorite champion. I would previously done some sound redesign for his abilities and cut that to a video, so I thought it would be fun to expand on. When I look at Mord, I think of something metal, electrical, and ghostly. He has a very defined visual aesthetic that lends itself well to creating a unique sonic signature. Each of these aspects I used and defined within his abilities. You'll hear electrical arcs, metal scrapes, and a touch of reverse reverb on some of his more drawn out abilities, such as Children of the Grave or Creeping Death. The most important thing to discuss in his sound design for his abilities is the guitar usage to sell the Pentakill skin visuals. I recorded the guitar myself and programmed drums and bass for the short song that I used. His basic attack hit has percussive guitar harmonics incorporated, like when you hear a guitar player hitting a wrong note. The Siphon of Destruction hit plays an all-out power chord. There are several different chords in the random container that may be played, so his ability takes on a musical quality that makes it fun for the user to hear. Using the ability feels really cool. The map is alive with sound as well. Essentially, there is a main outdoor ambience track with bugs and birds. I've also placed ambient stingers in the map to play additional bird calls and bug noises. I wanted entering the forest trails to evoke an additional spooky ambience. So when you're walking down a side trail on my map, you hear the lair become active, which lets you know something is coming. That something is one of the four mobs I have placed. The rock troll was a lot of fun to do sound design for. I used some deep low grunts to reflect the slow lumbering demeanor this guy visually has. I also added some rock crumbling to his grunts to help sell that he's made out of rock. Each of Mord's abilities are split into two sound layers, and each layer has two to four variations inside random containers. The random containers often use pitch randomization as well. The way the abilities are set up ensures that the sound never gets stale, and that each time you hear it, it's slightly different than the last. I did my scripting in C-sharp. I modified many of the scripts Wise provides, as well as creating new ones of my own. Getting ability sounds to trigger depend on the scripts looking for three things mainly. Whether or not ability is on cooldown, whether or not I'm in range to use that ability, and if the correct key is pressed. I created the project in Unity 3D. I used a lot of the player control scripts Unity provides to get my character up and running. It's obvious at this point, but I used Wise. I chose Wise for its flexibility and my general familiarity with it. A job all of its own was getting the art and models out of League of Legends and into my Unity project. I used some third-party software and dug around in the game files until I found all the assets I knew I would need. I created scripts that mirrored those used for my sounds. This means checking for cooldowns, range, button presses, etc. These scripts governed my animations as well as particles. In closing, I must thank the Unity 3D community, the WISE community, and the Game Audio community on Twitter. While I made my best efforts writing and debugging my scripts, I hit a few roadblocks and the communities were a huge help. Not just with my scripts, but they were really encouraging to learning. Most of the answers I got were not outright, do this, but more along the lines of getting me thinking in the right direction. I really appreciate all the help, guys. When Mord's long-range abilities, Siphon of Destruction and Children of the Grave are in range, a green light will appear beneath the target. Additionally, when action button 6, basic attack, is in range, a black circle will appear beneath the target. When Mord's dance ability, action button 5, is used, a guitar riff will play. If Mord is nearby other band members, something a bit different happens. <laughs> 